welcome back my fellow planet nomads to planet nomads i am here and my base as you can see has been outfit a little bit more i have 12 3d printers now because production obviously was a little bit slow even with six and another thing while it's still stuttering at times with certain points it does have an improvement because we did get some updates so the connections move faster certain things are working faster the cargo you know inventory stuff is still slow on my cargo stuff here because i've got so much storage but everything else is working great another thing you'll notice is in the lower left we have a temperature sensor which tells me it's 28 degrees celsius nice and temperate in here i've also added some food and drink uh machines over here so i actually do have production for that and everything's set up and it, they've started producing some uh purified water but not much you know i'm not pushing for anything really major right now and as you can see we're outside another thing they did fix is the temperature issue i was having in this area that other people were having in their base areas it's now showing 35 degrees celsius here which is pretty warm but not overheating type hot so I have been out working and been able to stay out here without an overheating issue. And one of the things I did was I spent time outside taking apart the air miner. It's gone. I actually emptied everything and dismantled it and put the materials inside because there is an updated version which has been spawned in here now with my replicator. And what this version does is it adds its own replicator to the build so it's not that weird looking up top one that i put in the back it actually is integrated here underneath the cockpit so you can just walk up be like hey oh, i'm gonna build something here and then it's also fixed an issue with the speed on the previous version where the speed was like 30 kilometers per hour it's pretty slow it still turns very slowly but with this it will now go over three 100 kilometers per hour so it's very fast and forward and backwards motion but what we're going to do today is i want to head out i want to take building materials with me no raw materials just building materials we're going to head out towards the leviathan base hang out there for a little bit i do have a new design i found that actually was shown uh and made i believe by the same creator yes the glass hippo it is a little hover vessel type thing that's made to float in water and it actually is built where it and can sit under the leviathan the big archway in there so i want to go there i want to build it and play around with it a bit and i want to go and build a base somewhere i was thinking maybe this one by marcus aquila we're gonna try to do that if i can uh i think i have enough parts for most of it so i'm going to get everything thrown into the storage on the new air miner and we're going to get ready to test that thing out and go do some new builds today all right so that took a little bit of time but i believe i got my total counts correct and i have brought what should be a little extra on some stuff so i can you know have a little bit of leeway but one thing i'm missing right now because as soon as it's produced in a large enough quantity it gets siphoned out for other production is purified water so i'll have to do purified water on site which is not a problem with this and as you can see look how much faster this is now with the uh, updated version where that's fixed i am going there we go a little over the 310 and you can see just how little stuff is rendering as i fly through i'm flying so fast that the rendering is not occurring but it's something i think they've changed with the recent update that's helping to make sure things move a little bit smoother especially with these higher speeds Yes, I don't get to see the nice decorative trees and everything, but I am able to move very smoothly now at a high speed and cover a lot more uh, distance. So that is, that is, what is it? What, what's that one? Oh, there's my Xehanot farm. Okay, so we're close to the Xehanot farm. We need to head a little bit more east because we're going to the Leviathan first. It almost feels like I'm not even turning with as fast as I move forward and the side to side is so slow. Maybe that will be fixed in the next updated version of it. But I am at least happy to see this kind of speed happening now because it makes traveling so much better in the long distances of this game. Let's get this done. I want to zoom back out again. Way out. There we go. Uh, Yeah, I think this... At least get me close enough to see. 
It's nice that once I land, I can still like maneuver around like that. Like, yeah, you can see I, I could always scoot forward a little bit, scoot back a little bit if I need to, but I happen to land it just right that time. So let's see, we are going to turn off flight now. I love the separated controls for everything. It makes it so much easier like this. If it has solar panels, the only thing I would say to do differently would be like have solar panels to the batteries and the batteries help feed the production system and then production uh, doesn't have anything to do with the or, you know, the, the flight system is only through the deuterium generator and not through solar power. So you could sit there technically let it run just on solar power if you really needed to. And yes, I've got everything I need. So we're going to build. And I feel like I need to put this fairly close to the water so it doesn't just plummet and end up going so far in the water it just sinks or that the floating foundation decides to flip it upside down. Hopefully it's not going to do something like that. All right, here we go. I think it's about to drop and it looks like there's a plant or two in there. That might be what the seeds were for was either already placed decorative plants. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Yep, we've got little planter plots in there, which I have not actually messed with before. These don't seem to actually be production, it's just decorative, so definitely something I can take out <laughs> if I really want to. I mean, it makes it look a little bit more uh, relaxing in here. Let's see, we've got, so, deuterium, and their name, starboard and port, which is nice. Let's see what this is. Master switch. Cruise switch. Uh, we've got hover, which helps to, I guess, keep us up uh, where we're not flipping over, maybe. And then you got the lights. And we've got our own, you know, way to spawn in new stuff. We got a replicator. We got that. Uh, 3D printer. Let's see. Is it? So I see this connected here, and there's a compact container. It does not look to be anything like a full-fledged, you know, storage system for this one. Uh, it looks like most stuff is kind of linked into a series, like... That actually isn't linked, but that may not be linked either. That, that may be a case. It might be one you just have to put stuff in each individual thing as you need it. We have another 3D printer there. You've got a nice inside pilot seat. Let's take this for a little spin. So maybe the hover pads are simply for your momentum to move forward. And now you can hear that that hover pad sound. It look, oh, it sounds like they cut off. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, okay, so they're just like set to hover. So I guess, you know, when you stop, all it's going to do is the basic hover function. Let's... Um, Oh, is this the lights? Yeah. Our, oh, cancel that. Don't want to change the name. Switch one, three, four, five, right? Where's two? There, there was a, a switch two. So that's two. So one, three, four, or one, three, two, five. All right. So we're missing switch four. Where is switch number four? Or did they count wrong on it? Uh, maybe it's underneath. Let's take a quick look. I don't see anything. Ah, look at these. These are paths for your, your forward momentum. So the other ones are actually just the hover ones. And that's... Those apparently, I guess, turn off when you're not actually moving. Which helps save power. It'd be nice if I could see, you know, a display in the game that would say, this is how much power you have left. we got 32 minutes left on that one. 32 minutes on that one. And I've got some deuterium, you know, I could take with me. Uh, I'm really kind of surprised there's no already off of this uh, water collector type thing, or at least a point where you can mount a water collector in and tie it into a production chain. That would be nice. But uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and go for a little bit more of a spin with this. It moves very quickly. It's nice. I mean, in terms of what it is, it's a houseboat really what it amounts to. It's just a big glass houseboat. Something that if you do not want to use a flying 
vessel, you can, you know, build this base and then build this little boat to go do some, you know, surfing around, exploring. Like, let's go over here. We'll go this way. And I'll, I'm going to kick in side and enjoy the, the nice view here. You, you know, bring a friend. This will be a good one if you did not want to use a flying vessel, like I said, to just come here and use that as a base. Maybe come out here with some supplies and drop in like a quick build water collection area and then be like, okay, the, you know, here's water and there's some carbon up there. We're going to link these two things together to make our purified water and basically have like multiple little sites around a central water area. That you do that because there's gonna be some points I'm sure you can for the most part travel around the the whole planet in water, but there's gonna be some places you might find it hard to get across because like this is more like a continent type thing, and you may not have a water path that cuts all the way across it. There may not be something up here. Let's me go all the way here, and as you get towards the pole, it seems to be much more of a major landmass towards the pole rather than water. At least towards the north that I've been exploring. Ah! Look at those teeth. You, sir, need to go see the dentist. Seeing that this is made by the same creator that did the Leviathan, it would be nice to see an updated version of the Leviathan that gives a kind of almost docking point for this where you can actually have it come up and like the walkway it stands here. Obviously, it would be easy enough to make a little change and maybe at some point we'll have retractable walkways added to the game where you could have it you come up and the walkway detects it's there and you know it extends to reach out to it you could just walk right out onto the main part of the base and be able to do that let's do one more thing before we finish the look at this one which is pretty straightforward you know nothing too overly fancy let's see this is main power that's hover yes let's turn the hover off i want to see if i sink if it does it change flotation in any way? No, it doesn't. It it doesn't do anything like that. So I wonder if maybe the hover actually gives it the ability to go on land as long as it's not overly steep. Can I lift off? Now fly up any? No. But I mean, if you really wanted something like that, you could probably add some turbines. You know, the air blades at the front and the back, something like that. That's just to get you off the ground and then still be able to use the same hover pads at the back technically to push you forward. Maybe uh, it may not work that way, but yeah, this is overall a very nice little design. I'm definitely very uh, impressed with it and how well it fits in with the Leviathan base itself. So now, oh yeah, <laughs> you turn on the power just to be able to open the door. So we're here back at the Leviathan base. That's going to stay put. It's time to go find a nice high tower, you know, mountain area where I can put something that looks down on everything else around it and make that a new base area with the other base design. All right, so I've got a new distress signal over here. I'm also kind of in between the two points I wanted to be at. I would like to find something that's like a mountain top that preferably looks down, but it wouldn't also be a bad thing if it was on its own private little island, like a big plateau type thing. Uh, I see we've got that one there, and I know there's a mining site there because that is some of my old resources from when I built this base over here, the uh, other the floating base I did. So I. I do have that one there I haven't been to, but at the same time, I... That says Plains. That's Forest Cliffs. That actually has a possibility, and I see there's two little mountain spots here. Let's head this way and take a look at those and see if maybe that's a viable spot. And I want to park somewhere over here so I can get a new map scan as well. So the beacon that I found is apparently tied into this big mountain ridge right here it's a big hilly area maybe i'll get some good resources from it that'll help me out <laughs> obviously not enough to fill in that two three hundred mechanical parts that i am missing from their stuff oh no 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 oh good i was getting a little concerned there oh and it's uh an alien beacon I'm probably... I don't want to hurt myself. There we go. 
Nothing! Absolutely nothing. So no resources that I can get. New trees, though. I don't recognize those. That's, uh... Alright, so that's back towards the upper area of the mountain ridge. And still a little bit of, you know, terrain rendering acting goofy right there. Okay, we have a problem. I cannot fly any higher right now. And I really want to be able to actually land my uh, vessel here, or whatever else I'm using, close to <laughs> the base. I don't want to park very far away. So I don't think I'm going to be building at the very top there. Oh, I took out the tree. Oh, another tree. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to park somewhere where I am not that close to the edge. Maybe if I do it like right up here. Like, oh, that, this is a good spot. Except for the fact I can't go any higher. It's got a nice view. Maybe flatten out. No, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to no, I'm gonna stick with this area here. But I'm going to maneuver this a little bit further away. All right, we're going to try it right here. I'm also getting a minus 13 degrees Celsius now. And I actually did get a temperature warning finally. It's, it's quite cold up here. And, oh, yeah, look at that. It's, oh, oh, look at how high it is off the ground there. Nope, we're going to have to try this again. All right, I think this is just going to have to make do for now. If this doesn't work, if this is completely, like, way above the ground, I'm just going to have to put some kind of blocks in the front. Yeah, I'll just build something down later on if I really want to, to fill in the front, like, fencing type stuff, you know, some walls. All right, so it looks like the build's about to complete, and I am actually at the height maximum for the jetpack i cannot go any higher than this so i won't be able to get to the top of the elevator thing unless i put in a set of stairs and i'm hoping that's the part they mean for parking a vessel because if it's supposed to be park a vessel here i'm not gonna be able to do that i don't think i could get the air miner up high enough to do this so i'm assuming this is where i'm supposed to park my air miner hopefully it will be able to park there and i'm going to get inside because i am getting cold Let's see if it does do the temperature control for me. And oh, I'm um, like, oh, the temperature's increasing, but the there's there's power. Why is that not automatic? Yeah, it's supposed to be automatic. Apparently, it just did not want to do that for me. All right, let let's go and take a look. Oh, there are auto miners already, which means, of course, this has got some open air. Uh, these will be very nice. I can drop them down. And basically, you know, it should just be the same thing. Like, yeah, like just extend it down, place it here. In this little spot. That's going to get nothing. That will be nothing there. So this is... Oh, wait. I can move it over. I'll just relink it a little bit, move it over to the side. So, yeah, I can actually have production here. And I don't think this is the uh like copper or anything i think this is just gonna be cobalt silver aluminum such so yeah i'm gonna be able to do that that will help out that's an interesting little touch there uh we of course have food production no water production off of this uh it is meant to be land based obviously i uh, like the little stairs that lead you up and over so you can look down and oh yeah everything's going good Everything's working well. Uh, it seems that I'm still getting a minus seven on my uh, temperature. Let's see what this is. Switchboard five. Okay, that's not telling me anything. Oh, I'm a drawbridge. So I have a way I could actually park inside. Ooh, that's interesting, and that's something I've been wanting to experiment with. I've seen some other designs that use the winch and, uh, you know, connection like that to make for, like, a drawbridge, a, uh, a bay door type setup. So I really wanted to try something like that. So this would be a good one to actually sit here and experiment with the way it works. Kind of look at how it's built. Ah, ah, ah. 
Wish we had a side to side motion instead of just turning. That would be nice if we could just kind of strafe with these. You think, you know, future be like, yeah, we'll have that. And I don't think I can even get high enough to comfortably sit in there. Ah, I'm taking out all the trees. Oh, did I just break something? I think I seriously just broke something on it. This is not working. Good thing I saved, right? So I'm here next to my previous little mining rig site. It's not very well set up. And I'm thinking now instead, I might just tear it out and place the base right over top of this and then build out the other stuff. So I do have cobalt, silver, aluminum, and then carbon, iron, silicon over there. So I've got a good balance between the two little biomes stretches right here. So that should help. Plus, I'm close to water. I can always run a trunk out there for water production. And I'm at a decent 6 degrees Celsius right now. And that's with the rain. I think once the rain goes away, the sun comes out, I should be okay in terms of temperature. But I also do have these resources here ready to go. I can just empty this stuff out and find me a nice little comfortable spot here to build. So I think that's what I'm going to be working on this week for next episode is figuring out exactly where I want to build in this area and then get that base placed down and take apart whatever I need to from there and start producing the new mining setup for it. But that is going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.